We'll start this video off with a great big deep breath because I'm an impatient motherfucker. And the world probably already knows that because I'm a cunt. All right. These took two days less time than they should have to show up. Yeah, something like that. So I was expecting a bike before I was expecting bars and grips. Bike took something like 20 some odd days in customs on both sides, which makes no fucking sense whatsoever to me. If it's coming across the border into Canada, it really should only stop at Canadian customs. But I fuck, I don't know. I'm not a customs agent. I don't know anything. This is from 3Ride. I ordered it December 9th. That's what a Wednesday. It showed up Friday in the afternoon. 3Ride is the way to go if you're ordering something. Although, like, hey, dance comp, you got me bars and grips and, like, no fucking time at all. What the fuck is up with that when the bike takes how fucking long to show up? What fucking good does that do me? I'm going to do this on the ground. But, um, bike's here. So, I guess that says something. Finally. Now, I would also like to apologize to Canada Post, because I went in there and I'm like, where the fuck's my bike? Like, you guys gave me a fucking notice it's here. No notice. I, didn't, I couldn't find it in my mailbox, asked my landlord, everything. And I was like, well, where the fuck is it? And they're like, oh, well, uh, numbers were mixed up. We, would, we didn't want to give someone the wrong notice and I was like well that was the issue that's why I'm here a second time in the day to be like hey yeah uh, I was reading my online tracking and something's not right here so that just happened to based on kerfuffle with numbers and they didn't work on they were unsure oh yeah by the way I'm unboxing a bike right now and it's a 2020 Sunday Eric Elstrand Correct me if I'm saying that wrong, and I think there's an EX somewhere in there. It is a 20.75 inch frame, and it's gonna have all this fucking goody shit like this, and guess what, I'm just using the seat post off that, because I don't even know if I like that seat. Haven't looked at it, but I know I do not like the pedals on this bike, which is also, I have another tarp. Um, where the fuck did I put those? Uh, so, anyways, I don't really like the pedals on those. They're the Odyssey Twisted PC pedals. Well, I got two pairs of those. Fuck those things. I don't know if you're gonna judge me, but these are dirt jumper pedals. They come with like stupid a fucking amount of grip. They're pretty clean looking. So let's run them on a BMX. I got them on my dirt jumper. My feet like them. So I'm gonna use them. Eat my dick if you think otherwise. Bars. Anyone want to buy a brand new set of bars? Four piece. They're probably ugly, but hey, uh, <laughs> that's just my fucking opinion. I don't even want to unbox these because, like, hey, unboxed four piece bars. Like, hey, nothing wrong with that. You want to buy a set of bars? You hit me up. You want to buy a seat? You hit me up. You want to buy a chain? You hit me up. I don't know, man. You want to fucking do anything? You hit me up. Oh, I thought they came pre-filled in here. I was like, what? No, now just a peek at this. Ooh, God Almighty, she's a pretty color. <laughs> it's pretty, boys. You want to see it? Or should I tease you? I don't want to tease you. So, this is the pretty seat I got. Yeah. I know, it's pretty fucking nice. It's got these nice little ridges. If you got a nice little slim ass like I do, because I ain't no chunky boy. Nothing against chunky boys. Nothing. Seriously. Go be chunky. So, the reason I got that is because look at this fucking thing. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> you know, I don't fucking like it. I, I knew I wouldn't fucking like it. So, like, cult. There you go. Hit me up. I'll ride your shit any day. I'll also make funny videos of me like crashing and doing shit. I don't know. Just hit hit me up. Hit me up. But yeah, I was going to tease you. 
You want to get teased? You want some nice bite porn? Oh, now that's all you get. That's all you get. And you may be like, why are you replacing the bars? What the fuck? It's a complete bike. You don't need to buy bars. Yeah, you do. It's a fucking four-piece bar. They weigh like twice as much as a fucking two-piece. Like, more pieces, more mass. More welds, more shit. Like, sure. They're a nice bar. I'll give it that. But, like, I picked them up. They feel twice as heavy. I'm shedding weight off this. We're making this, like, top fucking notch. Oh, yeah, that's a tracking number. Can't track it no more. It's in my hands. Literally. Probably gonna do a horrible job at filming this and unboxing it and building it, quite honestly. It's because I'm a fucking amateur, so give me a goddamn break, bitch. Alright, here we go. We got it. All the way unboxed. All the components are out. Look at that beautiful color scheme. I like that. I like that a lot. Um. One thing that I'm noticing, though, it already weighs more than my fit. I don't even have a front tire bars on it yet, so. Sunday, I think your components, like, it's Odyssey, the components, they weigh a lot. I don't know what's up with that, but, like, my fit really didn't have much. I really just threw snafu forks on the front of it and fit skyscraper bars, and other than that, it was just a fit BF2 complete, and... I think it was light as a fucking feather, but we'll see how this turns out once I uh, get her put together, I guess. I don't really got much space to ride in here, but maybe we'll go bug someone and see if I can ride in their space. <laughs> oh, wait. I fucking know anyone. So I kind of shit the bed on doing a build video, but it's built. I did a good job. See you in the next one.